Ok, beside basic tools like pliers, glue gun and screwdriver you will need junk parts like 4 LEDs any color you want, coin lithium battery, battery holder and this wrist toy that I found from my son toys. Also gear motor pull out from RC car, must be with gears. One more DC motor which is hook up on batteries with power switch and extension added, small screwdriver. First we gonna build the LED star, you can solder or glue with tape the LEDs with the battery. Also I have add a switch, you should get something like this. Next the LED star we gonna glue on gear at DC motor and this motor also have own power supply. Both of DC motors and LED star have separate power supplies. Now we gonna connect the main DC motor with gear at motor and you must find good balance spot because the Rasen gun will rotate in two different centrifugal directions and if it's not balanced your Rasen gun will fly away on many pieces which is dangerous. We are almost finished. With electrical tape and glue gun I joined the wrist toy with the Rasen gun mechanism. I put on my hand, turn on the LED star, power up the first motor for LEDs and power up the main motor. And here it is, awesome real Rasen gun, just like on the cartoon. And when you watch in dark room, the light effect is super cool. 10,000 lumens homemade flashlight that can light up to 100 yards. Let's make it. Ok, first of all you will buy 100 watt LED chip from eBay, I got mine for about 6 dollars. Also I purchased wide angle lens for about 4 dollars. The LED chip must be mounted on big aluminum heatsink. From this old flashlight I'm gonna use the reflector with the face cap, lens and all the parts we gonna glue with strong two component glue. The body for monster flashlight, we gonna make it from this plastic pipe, making hole for power switch, push the wires into the pipe and place the reflector. For power, we gonna use 9 LiPo batteries that I salvage from old laptop battery or you can use 2 18 volt drill batteries connected in series. The circuit is simple, the LED chip work on 36 volts, so 9 pieces of LiPo batteries are making 36 volts. From batteries power is going to switch, from here goes to LED chip and for safety reasons I have added two power switches, one on the back and one on the front, solder all the wires like on circuit that I show you and I will put link in description. Because the flashlight is so big we gonna glue two plastic handles one in front and one in back. Spray it with the black paint and add some stickers. And here it is, monster flashlight with 10,000 lumens that can light up to 100 yards. Hello Hocktubers, you want this project so much so here it is, homemade bluetooth speaker. Ok, you will need some wooden or plastic box. The USB Bluetooth receiver adapter with 3.5 output jack you can buy online for about $2. I will put links at description. Next you will need audio power amplifier. This small board can deliver 3 watts for each channel and cost $1. My mini speakers are pulled out from old mp3 player, but you can buy from ebay or electronic shop for about 2 dollars. 
this female USB plug is pulled out from broken USB hub. You can use female USB cable if you want. Also, you will need male USB connector with cable and 3.5 stereo jack also with cable. For powering the Bluetooth speaker, you can use it the USB charging adapter for phones. Or in my case, I prefer power bank, so the Bluetooth speaker will be portable. All stuff together cost about 5 bucks. Now we gonna mark where we want to make holes for both speakers and with Dremel or whatever you got, cut the holes. Here they are, perfectly cut circle holes and before glue them I will solder wires to both of speakers. On circle board there are marks where should we solder the speakers. Also we gonna solder two wires for power supply. Next step is to join power wires from power amplifier and USB cable and we gonna solder them to USB female plug. To explain, the 5 volts from USB cable goes to power amplifier and to female USB plug for powering the Bluetooth adapter. The cable that came with Bluetooth we gonna cut at hell and we gonna join with 3.5 jack cable. One will be for aux in and other will be for Bluetooth adapter. The wires we gonna solder on input of power amplifier. Now plug the adapter to USB female connector and power up the speakers for the first time and it's working! Now very carefully place all the stuff into the box and with glue gun we gonna glue everything. For cables I have made small gap at corner of box. I have closed the lid and my Bluetooth speaker turned out pretty cool. Just like I say, you can use phone charger or my way power bank for powering the speaker. This speaker you can connect via Bluetooth or you can plug into the 3.5 jack of your device. Now play your favorite music playlist and enjoy. This is BB-8 Droid, robot ball that moves in any direction and coolest thing is head always stay on top. Let's make it. We gonna make it the beat bot for our project BB-8 Droid and you will need this stuff to assemble it. In instruction manual everything is explained how to make this beat bot. Assembling the bits is very simple and easy. Through magnets bits connect one with another. Super cool! Power up and transmitter for controlling BB-8 droid is made in seconds. For making beatbot receiver you need this stuff. Wheels, DC motors, receiver model, battery, DC cable and board. Once again in less than 2 minutes I have assembled the beatbot. Power up and left side, right side and straight, working like charm. Great job little bits, I like it. And now before I proceed to next step I enjoy little bit driving this bot. Also as extra function you can add LED bar graph to monitor how much power you give to the DC motor. Or you can add buzzer, fan speed controller or servo controller. Let's back on BB-8 project. Mine beatbot I have assembled on smaller board and on bottom I have put the battery together with magnets so the beatbot will be more stable with heavier bottom. I found this plastic white ball and cut it at half and inside we gonna place it the beatbot that we made before and this will be the mechanism for ball to spin in any direction. I print out 6 stickers on self-adhesive paper and attach on ball. The two halves 
Temporary I glue with clear tape and with super glue. Head is tricky part, it works with magnets. One inside and one outside. Need some time to calibrate. Here it is, our BB-8 droid made from little bits, plastic ball, magnets and little time. Making custom USB flash drive is so cool project. So I decided to make steampunk design. The flash drive we are gonna put inside copper pipe and we are gonna use copper wire for decoration. For tightening everything in place I am using two component glue for metal. From this DC voltage tester we are gonna use the light bulb for getting retro look. The light bulb is soldered directly to positive and negative power supply of USB flash drive. On one of copper pipes I open a hole and on that hole we are gonna place transparent plastic piece that I cut from bottle. Now I place the flash drive inside the pipe and bond everything at place with glue gun. On one side we gonna put some two component glue and attach the end cap. Also we gonna fill up the hole at front with two component glue. From other copper pipe I make cap for protecting the USB plug. The finished flash drive turn out very cool, especially with that old light bulb. Hit that like button, subscribe and visit my channel page. Thanks for watching.